वेलकम टू ऑनलाइन क्लासेस स्टूडेंट सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट आर रिविजन रिविजन ओवर चैप्टर एट प्लांट्स एंड देयर लीव्स ओके आई नो इन द प्रीवियस वीडियो और इन अ प्रीवियस क्लास वी लर्न अबाउट सम क्वेश्चन आंसर्स व्हिच व्हिच विल कम इन आर यू नो टेस्ट टू सो बट फॉर टेस्ट टू वी हैव टू लर्न आर चैप्टर व्हाई बिकॉज ऑल क्वेश्चन आर ऑब्जेक्टिव टाइप सो द बेस ऑफ योर क्वेश्चन इज योर चैप्टर so we have to learn the chapter students okay so let's start it start it from our plants and their leaves so you can see your chapter 8 plants and their leaves let's start it start with trees yes so plants what are plants why why we are reading about them and why they are so important and we know that the second chapter is about i share my world with them so you can see the connection between two chapters that is how we are sharing our world with other person and how how the plants and their leaves are important for us so basically we can say that the plants animals birds insects their leaves the plants leaves okay everything is important why because we not we are only sharing our world with them because they are giving so much to us plants is giving so much to us the animals are giving so much to us so that's why they are important and that's why the uh, we are going to revise all these chapters again and we will revise this chapter by point that which one is important for us why why the uh, plants and their leaves are important for us we will learn it today we we'll learn it learn it all these things from our chapter so students please open your uh, page number 757 again we will revise it with the reading because book reading is also important for us so please students do this all these things together now on the page number 57 as we all know that why the plants are important we have to learn this plant an essential role in the life of every living being okay every living being there are numerous plants in the world there are different types of plants for example tree shrubs herbs timbers creepers so these are types these are not plants these are types of plants and how many types of plants are there uh, in our you know around us that like tree shrubs herbs timber creepers okay so one of this is uh, we can learn this this one is tree for us this one is tree okay students so we can learn this that how we can do this one okay so let's learn about trees so you can see this is mango tree right and this is coconut tree you can see the shapes of these trees students pine tree peepal tree right and banyan tree neem tree so these trees are known as tree why this is the learning thing we have to learn it for uh, learn from the trees that they are very thick okay with the thick trunks they are called tree why because they have thin trunks you can see the trunks of them right banyan tree trunks right neem tree so these are having a uh, you know the thick trunks are called trees for example neem mango pine tree coconut tree peepal tree so so many trees are there so for the example of tree okay so here is tree we have done and why it is known as tree because they have life long you know long life span which means bahut lambi zindagi inki okay so you can learn from them that why they are important because they having uh, why they are known as tree because they have thick trunks they have long life span and they having so many branches branches which means they are not only having one or two or three or four uh two or three or four branches they have so many branches there okay so that's why they are called trees so we learn the example of tree that people banyan neem tree so this one is the tree so we have learned the tree now come to shrubs why we learn about why we are going to learn about shrubs we learn about tree that is uh, that is enough right no that is not enough if you are learning about plants plants which means the types of plants so many varieties in the plants we are going to learn we learn about trees now we will learn about shrubs okay now shrubs plant uh, the plants that smaller than trees 
okay they have thin body so you can see they are having a thin body not they are not like trees so example you can see the tree having so uh, you know you can see the roots of uh, that particular uh, tree hai na you can see this and the other example you can see they don't have a strong body they have a body stem uh, they have body stems they have also branches but they are not like trees okay they are not like trees okay so you can see they have being good stems good stems many branches okay they have so many things but they are not trees they are shrubs and what they uh, known as for their thin body and for the woody stems they known as shrubs and the examples you can see the tulsi and rose are the example the one more example is jasmine which is written in your book okay they live for a shorter span of time they are not living like a long tree which uh, live a long life they don't have a long life they uh, they uh, you know in autumn seasons they could die okay now we learn about shrubs why you have to remember this for the woody stems right uh, the woody stems and thin body that's why they are shrubs an example is given to us so we learn about tree and then shrubs okay today is revision day so we have to learn all these thing so students please learn all these things very carefully because these all are important for us okay now plants uh about herbs now let's do the herbs how we have to do the uh, learn about the herbs the plants with the soft stems as we learn about uh, shrubs what they had they had woody stems thin body but they had woody stems now we can learn this ha the herbs having soft body which means they having soft stems are called herbs for example mint and organo that is what mint you can see their body is all over the green bodies not like others you know see okay so the body is very soft that's why they are herbs okay the plants with the soft stems are called herbs for example mint and organo the leaves flower seed these plants are used to make medicines to add flavors to food you can see this one is known also as coriander so this is one used to uh, give the flavor to food mint okay this is uh, for medicines we use it okay so many plants are for use for their uh, so many herbs are used for to use to make medicines right so we learn about trees shrubs and herbs now let's learn about climbers now now uh, climb what the meaning of climb to you know uh, to cover something to uh, go something over climb so plants with the thin soft green stems are called climbers for example money plant grape vine they climb on walls sticks or rocks for support so you can see they having soft green stem bodies so that's why they are climbers and yes you can see they having some support like wood support or some stick support they want a support that's why they are climbers right you can say the climbers or climbers it's on you the examples are grape vine here pea and money plant so you can see how uh, which things look like uh, the grapes look like the pea look like and yes the last one is money plant so now what we have learned we learn about trees we learn about shrubs we learn about herbs then we learn about learn about climbers right so we have done four types now the last one is creepers what are creepers so creepers plants with very very weak stems are called creepers for example watermelon and sweet potato they either grow along the ground or wind themselves around the plants okay we learn it that 
creeper you can see that these are watermelons and how they are growing up they are growing on ground and they don't have so much strong body body that means they don't have stems they have powerful stem they have weak stems that's why they are on ground they don't they can't uh, climb just like the climber uh, climbers so that's why they are creepers so this one is done now uh, firstly we will we will start our plants uses of plants we will learn that growing is fun that is also very important for us why because portions are related to this the portions like apples are usually cultivated in states like kashmir and himachal apples are related to cultivated in which states that is kashmir and himachal pradesh now the second one bananas are usually cultivated in the states like karnataka and maharashtra now we all know that where the apples cultivated in kashmir and himachal pradesh and the second one bananas are cultivated in this state karnataka and maharashtra remember this these these kind of question will come okay so please make sure that you will learn your chapters very carefully read your chapters very carefully then you are able to know that which answer is correct for you okay so bananas uh, now bananas are done mangoes are usually cultivated in uttar pradesh and parts of bihar and west bengal okay so we learn about that where the apples are cultivated where the bananas are cultivated and the last one the where the mangoes are cultivated we have so many plants but we learn about the three one in our book so you have to learn this all these things okay now we, we can start our uses of plant now we learn about the uh, different kinds of plant now we have to learn that why the why the why we use the plants and how in which kinds we are using that plants okay let's learn this learn about that uh, how we are using that plant okay so students now we are going to learn about it so they provide us clean and clear air to breathe the first thing we have to learn student that they what they provide us they provide us clean and clear breathe, uh, air to breathe okay so this one we have to learn that how they are okay clean and clear air to breathe now second one they give us food they are give us as food for example fruit vegetables and cereals okay so you have to learn these all things what they provide us and what they provi uh, provide with them that clean and fresh air to breathe they provide us food example food vegetables and cereals and what all the things are provided by them let's learn they provide shelter to animals what they provide to us they provide shelter to animals birds and insects they are not providing the shelter to us only to providing uh, air to breathe right that is also known as shelter they are given so important thing to us where we are breathing right now just because of the plants right so this is one of the thing which we can learn from the plants okay uh the other thing what they are given to us they are they giving fruits to us they are giving vegetables to us which means we are not only breathing we are also eating by the plant we uh, you know we can say they are the uh, one who give who sacrifice all the things for us they are giving all the things to us that is the best creature of nature that is plant okay so we learn about it that they give us food for example fruit vegetables and cereals then they provide shelter to animal bird and insects they help in conserving the soil they are helping us they are helping to breathe us they are helping to providing food for us they are providing shelter to animals bird and insects so many things and now they are giving so much you know uh, they uh, they giving uh, strength to the soil which is very uh, you know very important for us also why because all the weeds and which whatever the things we grow they are growing from soil and if the soil is not fertile that means we um, we are not able to grow anything from our soil and just because of the plant what they are doing they are saving save the soil okay make them safe for us and what they do they provide us uh, wood fiber and medicine that is also important for us that's all for today students because we learn the uses and uh, the types of varieties of plants which we have to learn hope you will revise your uh, revise your chapter very carefully 
for your test too. Thank you students.